lovelies, how are you today? And welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and I'm the sole proprietor of SAEH Body Butter. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Thank you. Hello lovelies, how are you today? I'm about to put some bling on my car headrest right here. I have a piece of board in there so it can be stretched out. On this side, I sublimated blessed. And so on the opposite side, I want to put bling and blessed. So here's my template that I cut out on my Cricut machine. I created the design in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. And the reason why I made two, I don't need to, but I was testing out some new flock. And so I was testing two different cuts to see how it worked out for me. So the jury is still out on there, on that. Anyway, I'm pouring rhinestones on the flock. And you know, I generally pour more than what is needed because the crowding of the stones also helps to push the stones into place for them to fall into place. And I'm just taking short, slow, circular motions, not going too fast. And then when I think that I got most of them brushed in place, at a, I take my brush at an angle and slide the rhinestones out of place so I won't disturb the ones that are in the holes and if I don't get all of them in I'm not going to continually brushing them in because I may risk brushing the stones out so that looks pretty good uh, I think there are about three spots four spots that I miss so I'm gonna go over the design and see if I still have any extra ones on the template and there's one right there I'll pick that up with my rhinestone picker tool and hand place it hopefully my head is not in the way Okay, that looks to be all filled in. I'm going to get the flashlight on my phone and go in because sometimes the stones like to lay on top of each other and hide from you. Okay, everything seems to be in place. Everything looks good. So let me get my hot fix rhinestone tape and I'll bring you back. Okay, I have my transfer tape. Let me move these stones out the way so they won't get in my way. Okay. So I'm going to pull the tape off the backing, put my tape in a U shape, try to get in the center, and go down. And then I smooth my tape across the design so that the rhinestones can stick to the tape. get the backing so that I can pull the rhinestones up
if I can pull it up. Okay. Go slowly. Don't want to jerk it because sometimes jerking it, that tension from jerking it can make your stones fall off the tape. at the finish line okay and I'm gonna turn the transfer tape on its back I'll let go of my hand don't want to let go of my hand let me see if I can straighten out this corner you might can't see it it may not be in view but the transfer tape one to curl up on me okay so I'm gonna take the rough side of the backing and place it on the back of this and then I smooth it out so that the tape can stick to the so the backing can stick to the tape and that is my rhinestone transfer so let me get set up over at the heat press and I will move the camera over there okay I have the car headrest on the heat press my heat press is set at 350 for 12 seconds I'm gonna take it down much pressure. I'm gonna take it down for about three seconds to remove the moisture. Then I'll pick it back up. Let me see if I can place the transfer on top while it's still on the heat press. Sometimes it get too hot under there. Alrighty, I got the transfer. I'm gonna eyeball it. <sighs> Let's me make sure it's somewhat centered. It looks centered. Yep, it is. So I'm going to take this down. I'm going to put this uh, Teflon sheet over top. Just because I'm not too sure of that material, I don't want to burn it. And it's going down for the full 13 seconds. And it's a hot peel. Alrighty. Ooh, this stuff is hot. Okay. Alrighty, all the rhinestones adhered. I'm gonna go back down, put the Teflon sheet over, and take it down for about another four or five seconds just to make sure. Okay, 
and it is done. Let me see if I can pick it up because that thing is hot. There it is. That's my uh, car headrest. Blessed. And the rhinestones are crystal AB. So let me get set up and I will do the next one. Okay, this is the second headrest, same drill. Teflon sheet. Heat presses about five seconds to get out the moisture. Get my transfer. Get my design centered. Double check. It may be center, but it's cricket. Alrighty. I think it's still click it on that side. Bring that side down a little. Okay, there we go. Satisfied with that. Teflon sheet on top. If I'm doing it on a t-shirt, I generally don't put a Teflon sheet on it, but this material is kind of thin and so I don't want it to burn. We're going down for the full 12 seconds. Teflon sheet was hot. Trying to find a corner that I can pull without burning myself. And I don't want to get my pick tool and accidentally punch a hole in there. Okay. Put the Teflon sheet on top. Go down for one, another five seconds. And we are done. This one is done as well. So I'll bring you over to my other table and pull out this board so you can see the board that I put in the middle of it to stretch it out. Okay, this is the finished design. And this is the one with the board still in it. And it's just chipboard because it's real thick and sturdy. So it stretches it out for me so that I can place the transfer on there and press it on the fabric and that is it that is the design for today alrighty I will talk to you later bye bye